you know, sometimes you think I'm such a sinner, what good can I possibly do? A story was narrated that a woman from Banu Israel who was a prostitute. Imagine this was the woman's occupation, right? The worst of sins, one of the worst of sins, things that are unimaginable, right? This woman did this for a living. And this was, this was her job. That a prostitute was walking and that she seen a dog that was thirsty. Again, now this is shaitan. This is how shaitan works. In the scheme of things, really, what is she going to do? And look, subhanAllah, yani, from a Muslim's perspective, it's a dog. A dog that is najis. Yeah, and it's not like, wallah, it was a beautiful, colorful parrot that touched her heart. Or, no, 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 it was, it was a stray dog. No owner. But this woman, she was able to get to the well, water well, and drink. And that she seen the thirst in the eyes of this dog. And that this dog couldn't get to it. So something moved her in her heart. So she did an act of good. She brought some water to the thirsty dog and she allowed the dog to drink. The Prophet wasallam says that Allah Azza wa Jal entered her into paradise because of this one good deed that she did. And this is Islam. Don't belittle any act of good. Any opportunity you get, jump on it. Anything, if it's goodness, be the first one there. The Prophet Sallallahu speaking about the Day of Judgment. The hardest day in all of our lives. And he describes, and the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he says, every one of you will stand in front of Allah and speak to Allah directly and there shall be no interpreter between you and Allah. So right away, you, you sense the tone. You sense the severity of the hadith. And then the Prophet ﷺ, he continues on to say, he says, and then you would look to your right and all that you will see is the deeds that you did. And then you will look to your left and all you will see are the deeds that you brought forward. And then you will look in front of you and you shall see Jahannam, the fire of hell burning in front of you. What a description. You think, Allahu Akbar, how can I save myself from this? So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he says, so save yourself from Jahannam. Even if it's by giving half a date in charity. Half a date. Imagine now I'm standing, I'm going to be speaking to Allah. I've got Jahannam in front of me. I've got my deeds to my right and to my left. And people are scared and people are petrified. And this is the scariest day of my life. And, 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 and this is the moment of no return. And now the Prophet is advising me. See how shaitan is telling you, brother, if it's not Hajj, if it's not a million dollars in charity, if you're not going to give up a limb, you know, in, in, no, 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 this is, this is shaitan. Belittling anything that you do. Is that it? Is that all you could do? Is that all you could say? Is that all that you could give? And imagine you're in this situation. No, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is saying, so save yourself. Save yourself from this calamity, from this musibah. Even if by you giving half a seed, half a date in charity. And this is Islam. That any good that you do, you will find it on the Day of Judgment. And today you are alive. It's a golden opportunity to make the most of it. Don't waste my brothers and sisters. Don't waste your time.